Okay, so the website is called Open Topography. And, and, and it's a, a National Science Foundation um, site. And you're going to go click on Find Data. And you might think you're going to be able to cheat the system, but you're not. Okay. So um, you do not have to find data in the Uni in, uh, United States, in Oregon. You just need to find a piece of LIDAR somewhere in that's hosted in this map, right? So here's an, some LIDAR in Los Alamos. They have two layers. That's interesting. So anything with that uh, red... Uh, transparency over it is LIDAR. So I'm going to go, where am I going to go? Why doesn't Yellowstone have LIDAR? Maybe it does. Aha. Okay. So I'm just going to go in here. And one of the problems is these things are huge, right? So I'm going to grab a section of LIDAR with my selected region. And I'm going to go down here to where it says get data. And I have come up with a limit. So um, I can freely download small pieces of data really fast, but this, this says that the data I've asked for contains 299,000 um, data points, right? And so I'm only allowed to get 500,000 without registering. So if I want to get more data points, I need to register to open topography. It's not a problem. You give them your email, you tell them you know, where you, uh, that you're in school, and then they give you a login. And then when you download the data, they send it to you. So they don't, s they don't sell you anything like that. Okay. So, but let's just for a grins, let's go a little smaller here. Let's go to find data. Oh, the points, the, the points show you where data is. So I'm going to go over to Coos Bay, and um, I'm going to try to get a little smaller section that I can work with. Okay, so oh, there we go. I'm going to select a region. I'm just going to get a small section here. I'm going to go down to get data. I still have too much. Okay, I'm going to select a smaller region for this. Okay, good. I've got enough. I've got the right amount of data points. So here I'm. Ch I get to choose what uh, what derivatives I want. So I want the point cloud, right? Um, I'm going to leave this on the the Z Max grid because it's a nice tool for visualizing. I'm going to create my own DEM, so I don't need this DEM. Okay. Um, I'm going to create my own hillshade, um, but I do want the Google Earth piece. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to name it um, Songer. No, oh, I'm going to call it Coos, the Coos Bay, and then I'm going to copy and paste that in here, and then I'm going to put in my email and choose submit. And it takes a little while for this to process. What I found is if I try to do this in Chrome or in Explorer, I get a really difficult download window. I didn't know they were that different. Um, but it was crazy. So in Firefox, it gives me a nice download. Um, so right now it's querying all those points. And I just want to show you the download piece, and then I'll, we're going to go work with something else here. Okay. So now it finished the metadata. Uh, it's done with the last point. So I can click here. I can say save the file. And they're starting to be saved. And there they are on my desktop. And then, um, yeah. So anyway, so that's all I want. I'm going to wait till this completely downloads, and then I'm going to move it into a folder. Um, so. Right now, we have Fugro on this p computer. So that's what that look would look like in a DEM. This is the image that I, the area that I've downloaded. Okay? Um,
Um, so that's topo zone, and that's where I want you to get your data. And I'm not going to go ahead and, and do that. So I did that for Autzen Stadium. So here is my uh, Autzen Stadium uh, Google Earth image that was provided through TopoZone, which is a really nice image for me just to kind of see what, what the area looks like. So there it is. Okay. So that's what I'm going to be working with today. And then um, if you don't have uh, Fugro on your computer, this will just look like a text file with the word LAS after it, okay? So you'll have a LAS, a LAS file. Um, and because I have Fugro, that's what, that's what you're seeing right now. Okay, so now um, I want us to walk through the process of taking that LAS file and creating so – who, can somebody write down, be my scribe? If we have, okay, you do this? Okay, so so Austin, what's the first thing I need to do? Well, you need to create a last data set. Okay, I need to create a last data set, all right? So um, I have a folder called Autzen. So how am I going to create a last data set? Right click. Okay, right click. New. New. Last data set. Last data set. There it is. Okay, I'm going to name it something, right? Now, probably I've set up a geodatabase and a feature data set, and I've got all that stuff set up. Austin. Oh, not Austin. <laughs> a <laughs> uh, okay. A-U-T-O-Z-E-N. Okay. All right. Ah. Okay, so there I am. I have my uh, last data set, right? All right, so what's the next thing I'm going to do, Mary? Properties. Properties. Nice. Now what? Oh, yeah, i got to add my last files. Okay, they say that, but okay. That's because I have Fugro downloaded, so it's picking up that thing. Cool. All right. Um, Joe, what's the next thing I might need to do? And you can defer to somebody else. You can pick on someone. Oh, that Joe. I'm sorry. Good question. Yeah, I need to calculate statistics. And you know what happened? I've already calculated the statistics on this last file, which is why I can't hit calculate. And so the data that she gave us, she had already calculated the statistics. That's why we didn't see the box to calculate. When I did this this morning, this said calculate or generate, I forget. And so there's the statistics, okay? So now I have a last data set and I have my statistics. Okay, uh, sure. All right, so now what am I going to do? Run a tool. Run a tool. You didn't want to set your coordinate system in there? Let's, oh, in here. Good, good point. Yeah, this one actually came with good metadata that set my coordinate system. So I don't have to do that, okay? And my Z coordinate system is, oh, in meters. I may have to check the website now and see if I need to change that to feet. Ooh, good question. Yeah, I'm going to have, so that's something you have to check. Sh I, you're going to have to go into that metadata file and see what the vertical elevation is. Is it is it feet or meters? And then you can just do that copy and modify thing. And if it's feet, you're going to set it right to feet right here. Perfect. Good job. Okay, so I don't know that information right now, so you have to do that. But let's say we did that, all right? Um, are we good with that then? Oh, store relative classways, yeah. Okay, and surface constraints were she wanted to eliminate water, right? So if you have a body of water, you may need to make a shape file that digitizes the ground area but eliminates water because you don't want to create a DEM for the water. But that's I wouldn't worry about that too much, okay, for what we're doing. All right, so I'm done. I'm going to apply that. I'm going to say okay. Now what can I do? Angie, have you gotten this far? Anybody have an idea? Christine, what do you think I should do next? Oh, I could do statistics. How do I do that? Oh, okay. 
Now, one of the things we needed to run the tool, though, was what? We needed an empty text file in here, right? So how did you create a text file, Austin? Okay, I'm not seeing. Oh, there it is. And what are we call Austin? Austin. Austin. Oh. <laughs> Austin text, right? So apparently, when you're when you're in um, the last data set, you cannot create a text file, but we can overwrite an existing text file. So that's why she had us overwrite that. Okay, so now where am I? I, I need to find that tool, right? So, GeoPro, Geo oh, here's the search. Okay, um, was it last data set statistics? All right, let's try it. Well, it should do lowercase, right? Ah, there we go. Last data set statistics. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to input my last data set. And it's on the desktop, voila, and my output, I'm going to click on the one that was created earlier, and I'm going to change the name, oh, text text, I like it, okay, oh, no, 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 so wrong. I need to change it down in the name box, not up there. Okay. And I'm going to change that <laughs> to three. Okay. All right. Now, anything I need to do here? No, nope, I'm good. Okay. Cool. And now I have my statistics file that I can import. There it goes. Okay. So let's take a look and see if things are in there. And look what it did. It automatically added my last data set to my table of contents, right? So lat, look, there we go. So there's my, that's what I'm going to import. And I don't have a lot of that stuff. All I have is a, a ground and, and, okay. So now if I zoom in here, I'm going to see my point, right? My, my wire is empty. Okay, what's next? Remember, you're going to set your properties. So she said to set your display properties to 5 million, right? Set, use the scale at 5,000. Um, set that to fine. She does the, I guess that's it, right? So I'm recording this as well. And this is pretty much just through that lab one so far, right? Mm -hmm. So we're, we're just kind of going through those steps in lab one that took me two and a half hours and now five minutes, right? <laughs> okay, we good? Okay, I'm going to say save. There they are. And now I'm going to add my last data set. But I want to make sure that my 3D analyst is on. And my, oh, it's already up there. So now I can see Otson. I can look at ground points. I can look at uh, the, the tin, the elevation using ground points. What's that? Triangulated vector something network. Okay. So it's a way to take, and you can see these triangles here, right? Um, so it's, it's a way that they take the data points and fill in with this triangle shape that gives you shadows and, and, and this idea of elevation, okay? Um, so there's my ground level. I can turn this into a first return. This would be my um, highest hit, right? This is my building elevation and whatever elevation. So that's cool. Um, so I can go back to elevation points and I can use this profile tool to grab a couple profiles of my, of my elevation and then I can grab the last tool or the 
3D tool to kind of get some uh, elevation profiles. So I think that was all of lab one, pretty much. Yeah, so now the, so that should get you started. Now the DEM conversion went fairly easily, I think, right? Yeah. We just did, uh, again, we searched for that. Search. Okay, so it was last data set to DEM. Let's just see what we get. Oh, it doesn't like that. Oh. All right, let's try that. Good idea. Tools, conversion tools. To raster, to raster. Ah, last data set to raster, awesome. There you go. So I'm gonna put in my Autzen. Oh, I missed something really important. I need to set my filter. I just wanna do the DEM of the ground. So I had to set my filter so I'm only converting those points, right? So they're kind of selected even though we don't see that they're selected. Um, I want to make sure this goes into my file. And, you know, this may be where you have to have, hmm, I don't know if this will work. We'll see. Did I do it right? Odds and DEM. Cool. Okay, so now I've got to decide how this bins. And remember, it's different if it's a digital surface model as opposed to a DEM. So do I want maximum, minimum, near, average? It's counting how many elevation points per cell. I think I want average. Um, I want nearest neighbor for the void cells. I want, she had a set integer. Cell size in 10, I'm going to say OK. All right. And if I turn that off, there's my DEM. So with that now, I can make slope. I can make contour lines. I can do whatever I need to do with that, right? And then um, the digital surface model, we picked first return and did the same thing, only created a digital surface model. The difference here was we picked a maximum binning and natural neighbor, okay? It's a little bit of a black box, isn't it? Okay. All right. Now, if I had a DEM in here already that I wanted it to line up with, I would set my environment so that my output is the same extent as that old DEM and the same cell size as that old DEM, but because I didn't have a DEM in here, I could just take the defaults, right? So there is my uh, raster showing building height. Right? So basically, I did this week's lab in 10 minutes other than taking screenshots and putting it on a piece of paper, all right? Um, and I ar already had downloaded the data. Okay. Done. Am I done?